Hello Leo, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to tap into the other person and the relationship that they have with whoever is on your mind. This could be regarding a crush, an ex, or someone that you're involved with currently that's cheating on you, putting you in a third party situation. Cross watchers, do keep in mind that the energies can be reversed. So if you are a cross watcher, this would not be necessarily your current relationship or what you're going through. This could very well be the relationship or the situation that the person on your mind is experiencing with the other person that they're with. Okay, so please feel free to switch the energies around as needed. All right, so... I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy of what's going on currently in their relationship is jail time. Okay. So this could mean one of two things. For one, there are some that may end up facing some type of jail time. Okay. They may end up getting incarcerated. It could be due to a fight. It could be due to anything. Okay. All right. For others of you... This jail time card can also indicate like a mental prison, meaning someone is very trapped in their mind. They're thinking a lot. They may feel stuck. OK, they may feel like um, like they're stuck in the situation that they're in and they're wanting to get out of it. At the bottom of the deck, we have false twin flame. So no wonder they're feeling stuck. OK. So this person has encountered a false twin flame. I feel as though when they first started dealing with this person, this third party, um, they thought that person was the right one for them, okay? For some of you, they may have been sneaking around with that false twin flame. For others of you, I feel as though this false twin flame is actually sneaking around on the person on your mind, okay? They're sneaking around with a secret lover. Wow, okay. I do feel as though they're going to end up breaking up. There's going to be an ending of a relationship or a marriage. And it's going to make this person realize that the grass wasn't greener on the other side. This is actually a direct message to you from your person's energy. It's an important message that this person wants you to know. Okay, so they're saying that the grass wasn't greener on the other side. And they're also saying that you're the only one that they want to spend the rest of their life with. So for some of you, this person still has feelings for you. But right now they feel trapped in whatever situation that they're in. We're going to get more information about what's going on. I'm going to be using our Mystic Goddess Confession deck. This deck is currently sold out, but I will be restocking soon, okay? So let's go ahead and tap into it. All right, so Spirit, please tell me what is the person that it's that is on Leo or the Cross Watcher's mind? What is that person currently experiencing in the relationship that they're currently in what is that person experiencing currently spirit in the relationship that they're in all right two more shuffles so yeah like i said some could end up doing jail time for others it could just be a mental prison or this person could just feel stuck okay they could feel trapped all right so let's see what else comes out here all right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have bisexual or same-sex interest, okay? So for some of you, um, your person could be bisexual or interested in the same sex. Now, this is a specific message, and it won't resonate with everyone, okay? But if your person has done some type of jail time, okay, if they've done any type of jail time, they may have been like entertaining the same sex or involved with the same sex or that jail time may have made them interested in the same sex. OK, so if any of you, you know, if you've had any type of suspicion in regards to this, then this is your confirmation. All right. I do also feel as though. um this person, they have a wandering eye. They're always searching for the greener grass, but I feel as though they've met their match because they're going to experience some type of karma or they are experiencing this. This person's going to reap what they've sown. I do feel as though this person has been trying to make you jealous because we have the direct message from this person saying, I've been trying to make you jealous, okay? So I feel like... Um, for a lot of you, this person has been trying to make you jealous, but it's going to end up backfiring on them. I also feel as 
I feel as though they've been dealing with someone and I'm going to refer to the person they're dealing with as the third party. OK, I feel as though the th third party may also have a wandering eye. So either your person may have some, you know, same sex interests or the person that they're dealing with could have same sex interests. All right. Give me more spirit in regards to the current situation. What's going on currently? Thank you. OK, so we have marriage proposal and. Um, we also have the direct message stating, I'm going to marry you one day. Okay. So I feel as though when it comes to this and it did come out in reverse. All right. Whoever this person got involved with, they probably thought they would end up marrying that person initially, but they're realizing they don't want that. Okay. So someone in this relationship was thinking that they were going to marry and that's not going to happen. If they did marry that person, there will probably be a divorce, okay? With this direct message from your person stating that I'm going to marry you one day, with it coming out in reverse, it lets me know that this person, they don't they don't have faith that it's going to happen. For a lot of you, you may have moved on from them. Um, I do feel as though this person may have some type of drug or alcohol addiction. And I feel like whenever they're under the influence, they get in their feelings about you. Okay. For some of you, this person is your twin flame. All right. And we also have another direct message saying, I'm, I'm sorry. I know I've messed things up because I feel as though whoever this person is, the the relationship that the two of you had was unrequited. It was one-sided, okay? So you may have been putting in more effort, you know, more energy, more money, more time, whatever, okay? But it was unrequited. And for some of you, it was definitely full of lies. There was a lot of dishonesty and deceptive energy, okay? Give me more spirit in regards to what's going on currently. So we have wandering eyes again, searching for greener grass. So I feel as though the person that's on your mind, they've been searching for greener grass. For some of you, we have this message again. I've been trying to make you jealous. So I feel like they've really been looking for someone that they can make you jealous with. Like, it's almost like them saying, okay, I'm going to find someone that, you know, is you know, that looks better than Leo or someone that um, has better things going on than Leo. And, you know, I'm going to make Leo jealous with that person. And the thing about it is it's not really working because they keep searching for greener grass. Like they're not finding what they what they're looking for. And I feel as though it's because no one else compares to you. OK, so, yeah, like I said before, trying to make you jealous, it's going to backfire on them. OK. Give me more spirit in regards to what is currently going on. All right. We have a few that came out. You're the only one I want to spend the rest of my life with. This is another direct message from, um, from this person. Let me make sure you guys can see. All right. We also have, I'm not going anywhere. All right. This is another direct message from your person. So at this point, even if the two of you are not dealing with each other, if you're not involved, if you're not talking energetically, they're saying they're not going anywhere. So this person wants to remain in your energy. They're refusing to let you go. OK, this that came out under jail time. So it lets me know this person is stuck on you needing money. OK, so for some of you, this person may try to use people of the same sex for money. OK, whether they're bisexual or not, whether they're interested in the same sex or not, they may try to make people think that they try to make people of the same sex think they want them to get their money out of them. That's specific. OK, Ooh, that's weird. All right. We also have unfaithful and cheater. So that came out under marriage proposal in reverse. So there's some cheating going on in this relationship. That's why. Either they're going to not get married or they're going to um, divorce if they're already married. At the bottom of the deck, we have self-sabotage. So this is the type of person that always messes things up for themselves. Connecting with a karmic lover. So whoever this person is that they're connecting with, it's a karmic. Okay, it's a karmic. Give me more spirit in regards to what's going on currently. Thank you. All right, another direct message from your person. I want you all to myself. And wow, at the bottom of the deck, we have reconcile recovery. So this person wants to reconcile with you, okay? 
They're saying they want you, they want you all to themselves. They don't want anyone else to have you. They want to reconcile after some type of breakup or separation. Okay. Between the two of you, even if you just withdraw your energy from this person, they want to reconcile. But see, this is the type of person that they live like an unhealthy or a dangerous lifestyle. It could be that they're um like they're risky with their health or it could be that they do things that are dangerous or criminal even, all right? But yeah, it's showing again that this is possibly your twin flame. And I feel as though that's why this person is possessive when it comes to you. They have some type of desire to own or dominate you. Like they just, they're very possessive over you, even if they don't act like it. I feel like they try to hide it. Give me two more messages, Spirit, for what's going on currently. Two more messages, please, Spirit. Okay, we have one, two. All right. So we have entertaining other options, giving attention to others. That came out under wandering eyes. Okay, so this person has definitely been searching for other options. Okay, they've been giving other people attention. Meaning they could be on social media and everybody's DM or, you know, whenever they see someone out and about that they're attracted to, they try to talk to that person. Okay. They entertain people, too many people. And we also have the energetic message from your person to you saying, baby, please don't go. All right. And that came out under, you're the only one I want to spend the rest of my life with. So this person doesn't want you to go. There's a lot of energetic messages here. So it lets me know that you're very much still on this person's mind. For some of you, the third party is watching, stalking, or spying. So whoever they're dealing with, that person may watch you or they may watch this person. And I feel as though it's because they know this person still has feelings for you. Even if they don't know exactly who you are, they, just, they may know this person has an ex that they still have feelings for. Or they may know that, okay, there's somebody that, you know... um, like if they're putting you, if they're cheating on you and they're putting you in a third party situation right now, um, this third party, they know that this person loves you. But I feel as though whoever this third party is, like, I feel like they just don't, I feel like they want to make things work with this person. But see, they're putting in real effort, but your person has been holding back from them. So they haven't been putting in a lot of effort. But yeah, this is definitely a karmic and it's going to piss this karmic off. Okay, eventually the karmic is going to get pissed off. Maybe that's what this jail time is about. So, you know, temper skip flare. All right, so Leo, that is your reading. If you guys resonated with this, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Or if you like this type of reading, give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.